So let's look at this first video of a cat with vestibular dysfunction. I'll play this here, um, and I'll get the pointer just in case I need it. So here you see this, this guy has a tendency to circle to the left, but when just roaming around, you can see how drunk he is. Look at that, leaning, falling to one side. So this is in coordination. Most of the time, we're, we're good with being able to pick that, that up. If we watch it again, um, that in coordination, which, we're, which we'll often just call a taxia. Let's see if we can get it going again. Maybe I have to take it back to the start. OK. Uh, that in coordination, which we'll call a taxia, um, looks to be an ataxia that's accompanied by a lean, an attempt, an attempt to keep themselves upright as they fall, and there's also circling. We don't see ataxia um, with any problem in the forebrain. Ataxia can come about from a vestibular problem, or from a cerebellar problem, or from a spine problem. If you have a spine problem, though, you're not going to have this degree of um, falling, leaning to one side. Usually, you're going to actually see a lot of weakness with it as well, because the spine, quite small structure, has two functions, coordination and motor movement. And so if you lose coordination, you often lose motor movement as well. Many times, if we see an animal with a spinal cord problem that has this degree of ataxia, they're often going to be dragging their legs as well. 